now it's my great pleasure to introduce the first speaker, Cédric Villani, mathematician, member of the French Academy of Sciences, and member of the French Na National Assembly, who will deliver the opening speech. Okay, Cédric, you, you have the microphone. Thank you very much, Ahmed. Dear friends and colleagues, it is an honor, although a sad honor, for me to introduce this day of lectures dedicated to our Russian colleague, Azat Miftakov. I thank the Azat Miftakov Committee for their trust in inviting me to introduce this day. Just a few days ago, I was among the group of mathematicians and officials who welcomed our Turkish colleague, Tuna Altinel. For two years, he had to endure persecution by the Turkish institutions, forbidding him to come back to his university in Lyon a whole international community was mobilized in France and in Turkey for his case. From the university to the city of Villeurbanne to the parliament to raise voice and accompany Tuna throughout each step of the Kafka style maze that he had to endure. This was not the first time that I was involved in a teamwork to help the light shine again in the darkness. For years, I have been one of those calling for memory work in favor of the mathematician Maurice Audin, arbitrarily captured, tortured, and killed in the Algeria war. It took more than 60 years between the moment when Audin was arrested, 11th June 1957, and the historical declaration of President Macron on 13 September 2018. Some of our mathematician colleagues, such as Laurent Schwartz, Michel Brouet, Gérard Tronel, and many others have been quite active, starting with the public PhD defense of Odin, organized by Laurent Schwartz in the absence of Odin himself, to this day, where not only the Odin case has been put in the daylight, but also some of the practice of torture at the time, which was such a disgrace. Today, we are gathered for another one of these cases in which a fellow human being is prosecuted by an administration. It may look like an endless pit to go through all these individual cases. After all, it is estimated that there are more than 100,000 prisoners of opinion around the world. So why focus and use so much energy on individual cases? First, because each of them as a fellow human, deserves our wholehearted support. As they say, he who saves a single life saves the world entire. But also, some individual cases become emblematic of large repercussions for many other cases. And in the case today, this is one of our colleagues, member of our community, with whom we have shared work and mathematical dreams. And so today, this is the fate of Azat Miftakov, 20 year, year old, originally from Tatarstan, pursuing studies of mathematics at Moscow State University, and now persecuted for more than two years. First arrested for explosive manufacturing with no proof, case dismissed, then re-arrested for breaking a window one year ago at an office of the United Russia Party under the testimony of two secret witnesses, one of whom was already dead during the trial. Does it not sound like a joke? No joke. Miftakov was beaten by the police. Miftakov was sentenced to six years of prison. It is heartbreaking to see Russia with its glorious scientific tradition still fighting with the demons of political persecution, which broke the careers and lives of so many people already. It is my conviction that mathematicians and scientists always have to stand up against absurdity and unfairness and re-expose their faith in the power of daring thought, free speech, and the combination of logics and imagination, which is so important for us. In this very special day, we shall not only hear words 
from our very respected colleagues, Anatoly Vershik and Tuna Altinel, but also here great mathematics by world renowned experts. Marina Vyazovska from the Ecole Polytechnique Fédérale de Lausanne. Alexander Bouffetov from CNRS, Institute of Mathematics de Marseille and Steckroff Institute. And last but not least, our young colleague from Bonn, Peter Scholz, who, as you know, received the Fields Medal in Rio three years ago. It is a pleasure to thank the French Mathematical Society for their support of this outstanding event. Thank you. Thank you, Cédric. Thank you for your commitment to the defense of human rights and your strong words in support of ASAT.